guys welcome back to my channel today i'm doing that kind of new year new me tag where i basically go from like zero to 100 in like a span of one video i guess <laughs> as you can tell my hair is just a mess it's been up in like a low ponytail all day repositioned and put on my lights on so it's a little more aesthetic in my room <laughs> if you're new to my channel hi my name is marissa i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel be part of my little family here on youtube and so click the subscribe button down below um and look at my other videos that i have for you guys and let's get right into this video i'm going to do my nails do my makeup do my hair um, change my outfit, basically all that, to transform my bare face <laughs> into like, I don't even know, me looking like I'm completely dead and just rolled out of bed. Well, I'm going to be actually doing my nails myself and then I'm going to come back on camera and show you like how they came out and then me do my hair. So I did my nails, I just finished them. This is what they look like. They're just white tips with like a rose gold accent finger. I love it. This is what they look like. Um, and these are actually acrylic tips that I did myself. So if you want a DIY video on how I did my own acrylic tips, and it's actually like under for under like ten dollars so if you want to know let me know down below and i'll do a diy video on it and yeah so now i think i'm going to go on to fixing my hair a little bit and then going to show you my tutorial what i do and yeah finally i have some good lighting in here um so i just straightened my hair I actually worked out a little bit so I look a little frazzled but yeah as you can see I'm breaking out like all over and I don't know why so I look like a mess um <laughs> but yeah um so I'm gonna go upstairs now and I'm gonna do my makeup and you'll see me do it and yeah this is just my room i just wanted to do more of a chill back kind of makeup tutorial instead of me like sitting in front of like a white wall and just like you know have my princess borders on that but you know don't want to talk about that at you know being 19 still having princess border up there but so i just put on this black turtleneck crop top you can't see <laughs> from forever 21 and yeah, so like I said, I fixed my hair. I already did my nails and my eyebrows. And if I come in closer, obviously, you could see my imperfections, of course. <laughs> um, but I did get eyelash extensions too, like last week. So looked. Um, I actually dyed my hair right after new year's so if you want to see the video of like what my hair looked like before i dyed it darker i'll put it up here I have some stuff and let's start this why is this such a struggle we could 100 percent know it is golden hour right now because i'm glowing i just uh, cleaned up my eyebrows i filled them in a little bit the lighting right now is not showing them <laughs> as dark as they actually are. But I think that's a little better, but this is what it looks like so far. Prime my face like always. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And also, I'm filming on my iPhone like this. So I just want to see how the quality is. Alright, just put my hair back. Alright. I think I should try to sit 
closer. This is definitely better. You can definitely see my makeup better. I have such a tendency to do this. Prime my eyelids when I shaped my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go into my face. And what I've been using lately is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is the Vanish one in the shade Shell. That's my light ass shade right now. But yeah, so I'm just gonna put this all over my face and then blend it out with a brush. After I use the brush, I just went over it with my Real Technique sponge just to kind of blend it out even more. Favorite bronzer has been the Bahama Mama bronzer by Benefit since I've been very pale, so I'm gonna use that just to bronze my face and kind of define it more. Especially since I have a huge forehead, so... <laughs> oh my god. I forgot concealer. This is against the rules, but I'm gonna do a concealer now. <laughs> I'm gonna put like very little here. I literally forgot before I put bronzer on, so my fault, don't do this. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the Too Faced um, powder. And I'm gonna use that to set my under eyes and look big underneath my contour line. Um, also, the concealer I used was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. If you guys are wondering, Too Faced, born this way. This is all that came out after doing that. In the end, I actually didn't end up baking. I just kind of swooped some underneath and kind of carved it out and also set my foundation underneath. So that's what I did <laughs> with my Real Technique sponge. Also going into some blush. I'm not a huge blush person, but when it comes to it, usually I use like a light blush or, you know, something more on like the bronzy-ish tone. So I'm using the Sigma Cora de Rosa powder and it looks like this. It's like very subtle natural blush. So that's what I'm using. My new favorite highlighter and this is from Morphe. This is like the mini version. I was just at Ulta and I saw the mini version of this. I was like, I'm just gonna get this. I think it was like $7. It's the High Impact Highlighter and Spark. It is gorgeous. Like, <sighs> so I'm using that for my highlight today. And sometimes if I want to be extra glowy, I just put a little bit on my forehead. So that's it for the face makeup. On to the eyes. Two Morphe palette. I've been like obsessed with Morphe lately. So don't mind me. Um, 
and I just got this new palette, this one right here. This is the 35B. I'm just gonna do like a natural eye, nothing like too crazy. I'm gonna go into a neutral like transition shade. I'm gonna go into the lightest one right here. First, oh, powdery. And like right above it right here and I'm gonna apply it right below where I put that transition shade this one right on the side it's going beneath what I just put down but this time also dragging it on the outer V part as well At the outer corner, I'm also going to be adding this, this darker brown here. It's like a reddish brown. I'm just going to go back in with the first transition shade and just like blend out the edges. Go into one of the shimmer shades, and I think I'm gonna go with this one. Or, no, this one, the lightest one, like a uh, gold B. And then again, blend out the edges of where I put that shimmer shade. And deepen up the end, but they don't really have a lot of like darker brown shades in that palette besides the one I used already so I'm gonna use this one right here from the Tarte Wet palette of activist by the way the final eye look okay so finally I am going to actually spray this before I put on my lower lash line mascara. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. While that's drying, I'm just going to be using the Kylie Lip Gloss. And this is just a so cute one. So now for my eyes, I'm just going to be using the lower lash mascara on my lower lash line because I do have eyelashes. So this is like my final look. guys all enjoyed this video i know it's kind of a little all over the place i actually wanted to put this in um now that i'm looking at the footage again this is how my makeup looks without sitting in front of the window because it kind of takes out some of the makeup that i did or like washes it out so this is the look <laughs> and yeah but I figured it would be cute not just sit in front of a like sit in front of like a white wall. At least you see my background. Um and yeah. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And yeah. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.